Hello, my name is Vitaly Sokol, and today I am going to show you how to create muscles in Blender 2.62. This is a simulation, but as you can see the result is fine and the way is really fast. For this example I pre-made the model quick and also I made a small rig to show you how it works. And I'll show you how to create dependencies using drivers. To create this deform I used Displace Modifier and Texture Paint feature in Blender. Now I have low poly model I made really quick. And notice I have UV layout here already. This is important to understand the process. I open another file and let's start. Select the model by right click. Go to texture menu and click new to create new texture and call it leg muscles. Instead of clouds I choose image or move and hit and next hit uh, new but uh, oh no cancel cancel it. Okay I just split the interface and set editor type to UV image mode and then I hit new to create new texture. I call it leg muscle text and left uh, the size of image 1024 and hit OK. And now we have absolutely black square that should make us very very happy. And now I set editor type to texture paint mode and try to paint texture but nothing happens. Why? Because first we have to do is in texture menu select leg muscles texture and scroll down a little bit and in image slot select our leg muscle text and now you can see our texture on the model here. To enable image painting mode just click little icon here and you still can't paint on the model but you can paint on the texture in the right side right here in UV image editor and as you can see the result will appear on the leg but actually it's not exactly what we want to do for now but what I really want is paint right on the model to get precision result I return back by clicking Ctrl Z a few times and I select edit mode by clicking tab K and I hit A to select all of my vertices on the model and in UV image editor I choose leg muscle text to apply my texture I pre-made to my model and then I set texture paint mode and this is exactly what I want to do now. I don't need UV image editor anymore and I hide it. And then I set texture mode in viewport shading. Now we're almost ready to paint our amazing texture right on the model. You can try this red color first to see the result here. Make sure that your texture coordinates is on UV mode now. I happy to play with interface but I really happy I don't have to pay for it. And now I adjust the interface to prepare for work and this window I set solid mode to paint with uh, sorry guys for this delay take it time and now I'm ready to start to paint my texture to begin I'm going to draw a quick draft with absolutely white brush to see my muscles and sinews here and I just paint a few strokes here and here and there it's really quick and rough strokes here just to see how it works I don't want to see the texture on the left side anymore and for it I disable it on the texture menu here 
but still I can see the changes because this window is on solid mode now and I continue to paint on my model with my white brush this is what I really like the paint I mean painting painting strokes here and here and there sinews and lines and strokes this is the texture I want to apply on my mesh then change texture paint mode to object mode go to the modifier menu and select this place as you can see I already have some modifiers here armature to rig and subsurface to smooth in this place property select leg muscles texture and wow I really want to leave this noisy result as is I really like it set mid level value to 0 and strength to 0 0.5 and to kill our hedgehog all we need to do is change texture coordinates to UV again but guys please keep silent it's all about Greenpeace killing animals is bad things I don't want you to do and next I gonna show you how to bend the mount of this place to armature I would like to create dependencies between armature angle and this place amount especially for this bone I just want to rename this bone to keep in my mind leg muscles for example and then I'm going to add a driver to, to drive with set the cursor over strength option here right click and choose add driver and you can see the input change its color then I change editor type to graph editor and set mode to drivers hit and to see the properties panel click on driver from the left side and you will see the properties here I just change the name of armature and call it leg armature then click on model with the right mouse button and then in these properties under transform channel I choose leg armature then select the bone leg muscle def and let me show you why you here what exactly we want to use to drive our deformation value you are here because you know as you can see Mr. Anderson this X value fits fine for our purpose X rotation and this is why I scroll properties down and change X location to X rotation and don't forget to change world space to local space to set coordinate system to local then hit update dependencies but still nothing happens the value of display strength is still 0, 0370 and then next and this is the input we have to change to adjust our settings for example I set 0 and voila we have a name of next target the next target is NEO oh I'm sorry the next target called VAR this is default name I think and 
all we need to do is copy the name to expert window above and check the checkbox show the back and forth to see our value and as you can see the value is negative for now to change it to positive we can multiply the value by minus one that's it the value turns to positive now I don't believe my eyes I can see and you can see of course because I can my display mode my sinews and my muscles are online and of course I can manipulate the rig and my muscles will appear on the leg when I rotate the bone here now amazing really amazing I love blender wow amazing it works yeah my creature will live and now I would like to adjust my texture also I can increase subdivisions in my subsurf modifier to get more accurate results and more details if I want to I'm sorry guys for my funny pronunciation it really was my first translation in English and my first lesson in English <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and happy blending of course my name is Vitaly Sokol and see you next time